In the first part of this tutorial, we prepared the code to submit a transcription job to Assembly AI. In this video, we will create our Streamlit web app. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want to add definitely is to seeing the video actually right after the user um, inputs this video. So what I will do is very simply just say Streamlit video and then add the link here. So from now on, once I submit the video, I will be able to see the video under the text input uh, section. And to have some input for the user, I also want to tell them what the process that is happening right now so that while they're waiting, they understand that they're not just, you know, the application is not stuck or anything, but things are happening. So for this one, I'm just going to add a text component and then whatever is happening. So right now there is something really nice about Streamlit that we can use at this point specifically, and that is session states. So all the way at the top, I can initialize a session state that um, keeps information of what's happening to the video currently so that when that is updated, this is updated and we will show the user only the latest information. So let's create that. So I will create a variable in the session state that will be status. So the status will be initially just submitted once the uh, user clicks the submit button or basically presses enter here after pushing the uh, filling in the link and then the user will see the transcription is submitted. So for that one I just need to copy the session state path and then put it here. But of course we also want to be able to refresh the session state and show the user the latest state that is happening. So this could either be queued, so the audio is queued to be transcribed on assembly AI. This could be processing currently or this could be completed. So ideally once it's completed we will be able to show it to the user in the Streamlit application. And where do I get this information of if it's processing, if it's completed, or if it's just queued? Well, we need to actually use a polling endpoint that was created using the function that we wrote and uh, asks assembly AI, hey, is it done yet or not? So for that one, I basically will need to remember the polling endpoint. And then what I'm going to do is to create a function that will ask assembly AI what the latest status is. So basically it's it's called get status. I'm giving it as an argument, the polling endpoint, and then it is asking assembly AI, hey, how is it going? This, this was a transcription job that I submitted to you. Have you been able to work on it? And then as a result, we get to update the session state, the status variable in our session state to be the status that we get from assembly AI. So we will be able to show the user the latest status of the job that we submitted. So to do that, I will create a button that will help the user to uh, check on the status so that we don't have to constantly be listening to the uh, assembly AI polling endpoint, but we can just have a button where the user can click and then get the latest status on the job that they submitted, since it's going to take a while for the whole download, upload and transcription um, process to be completed. So using this button, the user will be able to call the get status uh, function. This will be basically a callback function that is going to help us to ask assembly AI how the transcription is going and then update our session state. But one problem right now is that if we have this button right now without any changes to our code, what's going to happen is Streamlit is going to go to the top and run the code from beginning to end. And what's going to happen is that we're going to run the transcribe from link function again. So that's going to cause the uh, link to be read again and the video to be downloaded and turned into audio again. But we don't want that. And there is a solution to that. Basically on Streamlit, if you decorate your function with streamlit cache, your function is not going to run unless the input or the output or anything inside the function has not changed since the last time it was run. And then it's just going to give the same output that it did last time. And that's exactly what we need because we don't want the application to run from the beginning and download the video every time the user wants to uh, check on the status of the job that they submitted. So let's see what it looks like now. Nice. So 
we have the default uh, video already specified in our SteelMate application. So that's why the application starts with that one. It shows us the video and then it shows us that the transcription is submitted. So before it shows me the button to check on the status, it needs to download the video and then upload the video to Assembly AI. And then I will be able to check on the status of the video. So now, as you can see, actually the application doesn't look like it's running anymore because basically the part that happens in our application is done. Everything else is right now is happening on assembly AI servers because we uploaded our audio file there and now it's being transcribed there. But what we can do is basically to check on it to see uh, what is the latest status. So the last update was that it was submitted. I'll just click check status again. And now it tells me that it is processing. And once it's done, then of course we are able to uh, display the transcription. We can very easily use Streamlit's markdown um, function to show our transcripts. But of course, first we need to get the transcript, right? So for that, what we're going to do is create just a little if condition uh, so that if ever the session state is updated to complete it, then we will read the transcript uh, from the assembly AI servers and we will show it. So what we do is basically we just, uh, if the session state status is completed, then we are uh, requesting to get the uh, polling response. And then in the polling response, we read the text, which is going to be there because we know that the it is completed. And just so that the application is not going to give us an error saying that transcript is not defined yet, we're just going to set transcript to be an empty string for now. One other thing that we want to do uh, is to make sure that our application is able to uh, refresh its states in case the user wants to transcribe more than one video one after another. So for that one, I'm just going to create another callback function. I'm going to call it refresh state, for example. It doesn't need any arguments. And for that one, I basically am going to say set the status to submit it again. And I want to call this when the user inputs a new, a text input gives me a new UTIP link. So for that one, we're just going to say on change, call the function refresh state. So now if the user adds a new link, or inputs a new link to our text input uh, com component, then we are able to refresh the state just tell the user that it is submitted and then refresh and show them what's been happening with the video that they just submitted uh, on Assembly AI. So let's go ahead and just see how this application works from the beginning to end. So now once it's uploaded, I can just check the status. So that also I know that the application is not halting or it's not frozen, it is just uh, running somewhere else. And I just need to check once in a while to see if the transcription is done. And once the status is changed to complete it, now I am able to see the whole transcription. And the video is right here, so I can watch the video at the same time and read the transcription if that's what I want to do. So uh, let's try submitting another video just to see how our application will act in that case. So I'm going to submit a video that is of a TED talk. Nicely, my video is uh, updated. And also the transcription status is actually updated. So now my application says that transcription is submitted. So now after the video is downloaded and it's uploaded to assembly AI, I, am, I will be able to check the status to see the latest update on the video. Nice, so I know now that the video is uh, uploaded already to assembly AI and if I check status, I know it's going to be processing. So after a couple of seconds, it will already be completed. Nice, so the transcription is already completed and now I can see the whole talk here in the text format instead of video format or audio format. It looks like our application is working as we intended. We have nice visuals, we are able to see the video and then we are able to seamlessly create transcriptions from the video itself. We are also able to submit one video after another without breaking anything. So I would say this is a success. 
If you'd like to create this app for yourself too, you can get a free API token from Assembly AI using the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around.